Hello, welcome back to Wickleton Golf Club. I'm Jack, this is Jack Lee Golf. In today's video, we're looking at the Kirkland Signature Golf Balls, more specifically, the original Kirkland Signatures, and we're gonna be putting them up against the new V2.0 Kirkland Signatures. Let's see if they've improved on the first ones. Let's see if these new ones are any different. Without further ado, let's get into it. So hello everyone, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Jack. I'm the PJ Professional here at Ickleton Golf Club. This video has been quite a few months in the making, really. I want to say a massive thank you to a gentleman, a subscriber from America called Keith Peterson. He's actually the gent that sent me these golf balls in April. <laughs> Just to show how kind of busy I've been this year with coaching and whatnot, uh, could have really done this video in April, but I've just been so busy. This is really the first opportunity that I've had to test these golf balls and put them against each other. So big thank you to Keith. Keith went out of his way, uh, sending me these golf balls all the way from America. So thank you ever so much for that. Usually in a test, I will hit some golf shots from my teaching bay here out onto the range at Ickleton. Because this is a ball test, we need to find a net. Let's go find a net. Oh, would you look at that? We just so happen to have one over there. And as if by magic, here we are at our practice net, just next to me, teaching bay. Um, so basically, the way that we're gonna do this test, I have got a 50 degree gap wedge, I've got a seven iron, and I've got a driver. I'm gonna hit a batch of balls with both balls, with each club, and I'm gonna compare the data at the end. This next bit might be a little bit boring as I'm just smacking balls into a net. So if you wanna stay with us, stay with us. Uh, if you don't, probably just skip a little bit later on in the video. I'm gonna make this a little bit less boring. I'll probably put some funky music on it, background for you, and I might even speed it up a bit. So yeah, let's... Um, Let's do it. Before I do that though, let's go. Let's go originals first. Uh, I'm just going to read the back of the box just to see if there's any main differences. So basically exactly the same. Slightly different colours on what's inside the ball with both. If you can see that, the packaging is almost identical. Very similar. I mean, from the front, apart from it saying V2.0, you can't really tell, can you? Contains three balls. That's always good to know. I would have guessed that if it hadn't said that on the box. So let's, I'm going to go. Wedges with both balls and then seven irons then woods. So let's go stand them on first. And one thing that will be good as we're doing this test, we will also be able to measure durability, which I'm very much looking forward to. Right then, probably go five shots with each. Right, interesting development, even at this early stage. These are the originals, like I said. I mean, one shot with that and it's scuffed up already. Likewise, that one's got a scuff on it. That's also one shot. This one... Not really got a mark on it, just a bit of green from the uh, mat there. So so on the durability front, let's hope that the new ones are going to be a bit better than that. These might be shredded after a couple more shots. Cool. Right, that's five shots done with original Kirklands. Let's now have five shots with the new V2.0. My one criticism when I tested the original Kirklands, I thought they felt great. They're obviously exceptional value for money. At roughly being like a quid a golf ball for a premium golf ball we don't really get that in the UK here uh, you're looking f f three to four quid now if you like to pro v1s tp5s that kind of stuff um, my one criticism before I went on that weird tangent was that they didn't go as far as all the competitors that was the only thing that they seem to be lacking really so the one thing that I'm looking for out of these v2s is the distance when it comes to the driver test at the end right five shots with a wedge Right, durability update, three shots with the V2, I don't know if you can see that clearly or not, scuff, 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 great start. Right, that's the wedges done, let's go 7-9 now. All right. That's very thin, that took it four to be It's my job. It's all I do. Right, that's five done with the seven iron on the original ones. Not the best strikes, that batch, but I have kept them in there just for a bit more, I don't know, validation for you guys, because obviously when we do these tests, I don't strike a mint every time. Right, V2 now. Interesting, um, they've not changed, or as far as I'm mistaken, unless I'm mistaken, they've not changed the sight line. So it still says on both balls, dot performance plus dot in the old Pro V style, if you guys can see that. So, the only way that I'm distinguishing these, because they do look identical, is by the numbers. 
ironically enough the V2s are a number two and the V1s are a number one so right then V2 now seven irons last but not least or I say last but not least lastly and probably most importantly driver Well, I say that the original Kirklings uh, were shorter. In that little test there, appears not. So let's see how the new ones stack up to that. Um, they were further than expected. So V2 now, nevertheless. Just before I ate the last batch of balls for this today's test as well, I will be giving these Kirkland signatures, both of these sleeves away. So if you want to win these, it's going to be UK only, unfortunately, because of the postage situation and whatnot. If you want to win these, comment below. Uh, do you know what? Comment anything you want. Any comments on this video will be entered into the giveaway for these Kirkland signature balls, V1 and V2. So, right, lastly, let's go V2 now. I'll tell you something though, look at this. So we've only really been messing with irons and wedges up to now with these V2s. That is a little bit shredded, in it? 10 shots that, 10 shots and in two areas, scuff marks. Not the best wearing and tearing. Well, the best tearing really, not the best wearing. Right, well that is all the shots done. Let's now head back inside and let's look at that data. Right then, so let's have a look at that all important data. So let's start with the wedges. So we saw with the original Kirklands, uh, average distance of 114, spin rates of 9,500. With the V2s, we saw average distance exact same, 114, uh, with a spin rate of 8,800. So nine, no, bad maths, terrible maths. 700 revs of backspin down on the new ones. As you can see, and I will pull all the data up for you just about there, pretty similar, pretty similar, just apart from spin rates fluctuation wise. Uh, we did have one, the last one, which spun at nearly 11,000 for the, sorry, the first shot that I hit with the original, that spun at nearly 11,000, so that's what's really boosted that average up, so a little bit of discrepancy, uh, strike induced as ever, but yeah, off the five shots that I hit with both, original spin a bit more, but go the same distance. Now let's look at the irons, so original, 164 carry, new one, 166, um, despite the newer ones spinning a little bit more, 8,800 with a seven iron, which is quite high. Usually with a seven iron, you'd only like to see really six to 7,000 revs uh, backspin. So both of them quite high. Club delivery is pretty much the same across the board again. Uh, peak height with the V2s went up to 38 yards in the air, whereas the original is only 35. So um, it could have been strike induced again because I seem to remember from the test that I just did, strikes were better with V2 than V1. I'll call them V1, same we call them originals. Strikes are definitely better with V2, which uh, could cause to slightly increase spin, uh, higher descent angle is what we saw in this instance, and distance being improved. Similar though, very similar, only two yard distance increase, only 500 revs of backspin, peak height obviously I shot up. And then with the driver, we saw with V1, 283 yard carry on average. Uh, we saw a high of 301 and a low of 266. And then with the new ones, the V2, 278, so five yards shorter. I was hoping that from the on-course testing that I did with the V1 ages ago, they did seem shorter in this instance it's saying not and then uh, going to the new one that seems to be even shorter than original so um backspin wise almost identical 2500 with fluctuations in both as you'd expect as my strike moved peak height the exact same with both 38 uh, yard in the air but distance wise the original was five yard further so not necessarily seeing the improvements that you would hope for in the new version when compared to the old version durability wise as you guys saw as I were hitting a few shots, they cut up very easily, a worrying lit amount easily as well. So that is definitely not great. Value for money though, I still think best premium golf balls on the market. If you can get over the, the cutting up of them, uh, and if you're looking to transition to a more premium golf ball and you don't want to pay that money, Kirkland could be a great segue for you. I don't think they're quite up there yet with your likes of TP5, Pro V1, Bridgestone, Strix and Z Stars, Callaway Chrome Soft, all them seem to be just that slight bit better. I don't know whether that's due to the production, maybe they've just got a bit more of a high quality. I have heard rumours that Kirkland were meant to be another ball that's just been painted and stamped with Kirkland. I don't know that, don't quote me on that, that definitely might not be valid. Um, but value for money wise, at a pound a ball, still very good. Um, very decent performing, whilst I don't think they're quite as good as your big boys. Definitely a good golf ball. They cut up a lot, which is a bit of a downer, but 
called Golf Ball, Kirkman Signature. Do feel very soft around the greens. If you would like to see me do an on-course review with both of these golf balls before I give them away to one of you guys, pardon me, make sure you go do the usual liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you've made it this far in the video, I want you to comment Viva Ronaldo. And that even might give you an extra chance of winning those golf balls, those six golf balls that I've been testing today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you're doing the usual of liking, sharing, subscribing. Thanks again to Keith for sending me those balls all the way from the States. I will see you guys in the next one. Laters. Viva Ronaldo. Keep the faith. Right then, so let's have a look at our... <laughs>